What it do, Dream Team? It's your boy D Neil back with another reaction video, guys. Here we are with Only Fools and Horses, Season 7, Episode 9. I believe this is another special Mother Nature Son. Before we dive in, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, ring notification bell, get a video a thumbs up so it gets suggested. And we are going to break this into two parts since it's over an hour. Here we go! So old, oh, bro. They be so. Oh my God! It makes me so happy seeing everybody happy and dancing and having a great time. And I see Damien the grown up. He then got so big. And oh my God! I love it. So Oh god dang, it was all a dream. It was all a, I I used to I was so excited. It was all a dream. <laughs> oh my oh, gosh. No, I'm not like that. <laughs> I am happy to see Rodney and Cassandra in the same day. That, that always makes me happy. for us to emigrate <laughs> or at least discuss the advantages of a suicide pact how are we feeling this morning oh great how else could i feel i'm 31 years of age and i work for trotters independent traders a lot of people give their right arm to be in your position oh no they're all tucked up safe and sound in their padded cells <laughs> you seem a bit more cheerful than yesterday <sighs> you should come around to trotter towers when we were morning cash it give Terry White the shakes. <laughs> I mean, you can't move for teething rings, Farley rusts, and funny smells. It's like nightmare on Sesame Street. <laughs> kel has got postnatal depression. Albert's got postnaval depression. Damien keeps chucking toys at my head. You big baby. Are any fluffy dolls? Yeah, I know. Dale's bought him a Tonka toy for Christmas. <laughs> How is Dell now? Oh, he's still putting a brave face on it, you know. Laughing and joking all the time. He's worrying the life out of me. I mean, we haven't bought or sold a thing in months, and he's running around like Ken Dodd on ecstasy. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Maybe it's just a recession, eh? We're broke, he won't admit it. There's a lot of people in the same boat. Well, you're doing all right. What does that mean? Well, you've got your promotion at the bank, haven't you? charge of small business investment at our Peckham branch. It's hardly the house of Elliot, is it? No, I do not tell Dale you in charge of small business investment. As soon as Dale hear that, that bell is going to go off in his head and oh my days. Oh, don't tell Dale. Don't let Rodney like Rodney. You know not to tell Dale, Rodney. You've done something. I'm just me. You'll do for me, big boy. Oh, oh, hey, hey, hold up. I better make the coffee. <laughs> oh, stay here a while. Yeah, Rafi. No. I'd like us to go away for a weekend. Somewhere really nice. Just the two of us. I know we can't afford it at the moment, but I get a bonus at the end of the year, so maybe then, eh? Yeah. Look, I'm sorry, Cash. I've been feeling down, a bit pressurised, you know. That's why I've been, well, a 
bit lacking in certain areas recently. <laughs> That's why I want this to go away. So you can relax. Is that nice? Yeah, that is really good. <laughs> Don't answer it. Why not? Estelle. How do you know? That's his ring. It's seven o'clock in the morning. Seven o'clock? That don't matter to Del, does it? Sleeps for winks, remember? Well, it could be Mummy. I mean, she might be ill for all we know. Still don't answer it. Oh, don't be ridiculous. You know it's Del. Hello? Morning, Del. Five <laughs> <laughs> minutes ago. No, he left about five minutes ago. Hmm. Yeah. Well, I know he's your brother. I know that Rodney's worried about you as well. Look, it happens to a lot of men when they're under stress. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe it. Well, aren't you the lucky one? Have I got a what? No, I haven't. And I wouldn't know where to get what. Tell him the man is on bloody... <laughs> <laughs> Roddy's just popped back. <laughs> no, he's left again. <laughs> yeah. All right, well... Yeah, thanks, Del. Bonjour. Bye. Touch the marmalade. <laughs> oh, Damien is a freaking adorable man. Jesus. Tea in the pot. Yeah, plenty. <laughs> there you are, darling. Let my boy Uncle Albert sleep. <laughs> Rodney, my, my guy Uncle Albert can't get this, can't get his sleep in. Yo. No, Elton John's just popped in. He's rehearsing the pizza. <laughs> He'd tear the pot, Rodney. No, it's empty. Call that music. It's a bloody racket. That's all you youngsters are interested in. Noise, noise, noise. Didn't your generation ever enjoy itself, Albert? When I was your age, I was fighting in a war. Well, then you must have made more bloody noise than me, then, didn't you? <laughs> Hello, soldier. How are you? You're a little crack, aren't you? <laughs> oh, brothers, I can't imagine this flat without Damien, can you? No. Little devil. <laughs> are you all right, Rodney? Yeah, fine. No, I mean, <clears throat> you, uh, all right? Oh, my yes. God. Yes, everything's all right. That's all right, then. Well, what's wrong, then? No, nothing, sweetheart. Everything is cushy between Rodders and Cassandra, isn't it, Rodney, eh? Just a little bit of, uh, stress. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> happens to any man. <laughs> happens to be a bit, uh, well, lucky, that's all. Go and do us a bit of breakfast, will you, sweetheart? Do you? Don't you think I've got enough to do? Hmm? I've got the baby to feed and clean. I've got the old man of the sea there moaning because his egg was running. I've got the beds to make, hoovering to do, washing and ironing to do, and I finish all that just in time to cook dinner. Do it yourself, Trotter. How oh, you? God day. Baby. God day. Well, I don't know what... I might be a little scared to have a kid now. I might be, I might be a little, little nervous. That, that might be... I don't know if I'm ready to deal with that. What's the matter with her? Really, I don't. I keep asking her, but she won't tell me. Come on. Oh, I don't know. I mean, what more does she want? She's got a nice home. Lovely little baby. Couldn't ask for a better bloke than me, could she? Hmm? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Is she happy? No, she is not. I don't know, Rodney. I'm down that casino nearly every night till the early hours of the morning, trying to win us some money. <laughs> but if she knew how much I owe you, she'd realise how hard I've been trying. <laughs> <laughs> if she knew 
knew how much I owed him. She realized how hard I've been trying. <laughs> Doesn't seem to be happy with anything these days. Dell, maybe it's these days that are the problem. None of us have got any money. There's nothing for her to look forward to. Just a daily round of washing and ironing and toil and boredom. Well, you've got to take a rough with the smooth, haven't you, Rodney, eh? Well, I'll tell you this much, brother, it's going to get a lot rougher before the end of the year. All right, Dell, let's have this out and the I want the truth this time. Something's going on, and I've got a right to know what. No, everything's all right, Rodney. I mean, we've got no money, no business, and our future is about as bright as a Yugoslavian tour operator's. <laughs> <laughs> but no, everything's costing. Uh, something else, Dell. I noticed it a little while ago. You've lost that sort of seat. The old Derek Trotter could smell a fiver in a false nine gale. They used to say if Del Boy fell into a viper's pit, he'd come up wearing snakeskin shoes. <laughs> you see, I lost something. It's like you're carrying some sort of burden. Maybe that's affecting Raquel, because it is certainly affecting me. I ain't taking the blame uh -oh. for that thing. Well, you <laughs> <laughs> now look, Derek, if you don't tell me what's going on, I'm going to... Well, I don't know what I'm going to do. I just think it's fair I should know. No, you're right, Rodney. I can't keep anything from you, can I, brother? Do you remember what, a couple of years ago, I applied to the council to buy this flat? Well, what with the local council elections and the strike and all that, got put to one side, and I forgot all about it. That was until a couple of days ago. Then right out of the blue, all my paperwork has come through. I own this flat. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> I worked it out. The mortgage is two and a half times the rent. And I call it. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That bacon, that bacon ain't cooked, Derek. That, <laughs> that bacon not done, bro. You just put that on the stove. That's. I, I guess someone who likes his bacon crunchy with a little crunch, you know what I'm saying? That bacon ain't gonna have no crunch at all. That bacon, he could have pulled it out the pack and put it on the bread. For the rent. <laughs> That's what's upset Raquel. No, she don't know about it. I haven't told her yet. Ooh. Tell her what else comes with this flat. Do you remember Granddad's old allotment? Oh, not that. Yeah, there. I mean, what do I want with an allotment? Oh, blimey. No one's even been near it for yonks. In the last 30 years, more people have walked on the moon than they have on that allotment. <laughs> Honestly, an allotment. It makes you sick, doesn't it, eh? I feel like a mosquito who's caught malaria. <laughs> What a surprise. Come here. <laughs> I'll feed him. Oh. The girl's into our nap. Puts you right off, doesn't it, eh? Nothing worse than wheat or bits in a beard, is it? <laughs> <laughs> he gonna eat it too. He finna eat it, bro. Oh my god. <laughs> Sauce. <laughs> it's all going right down the tubes, Rodney. I've got to get some money from somewhere. It's getting on top of me, bruv. I'm cracking up. Thanks, bruv. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> all right, then. Hey, come and have a sit down. Listen to me. What? Well, there was this bloke I used to know a few years back at my evening school. He reminded me of you in many ways. Yeah, he was a really bright, dynamic, go-ahead sort of bloke, you know? But like I say, in other ways, he reminded me of you. <laughs> Take a gamble, you know, weren't frightened of living on the edge. Anyway, a couple of years ago, he found the very thing you're always looking for a gap in the market. Yeah, gap in a warehouse door would suit me at the moment. <laughs> Miles, his name was. Miles? Uh, bit of a friend of the earth, you know, liked all that natural food, even grew his own vegetables. Yeah, it certainly sounds the dynamic sort. Oh, no, don't knock it, there was a massive market. More and more people are turning to health food for. Facts. Well, for the real. <laughs> More and more people are turning to health food for, well, for the health, yeah, facts. Uh, definitely more and more people going, going the healthy route. Anyway, what Miles noticed was, right, if he wanted to buy a bag of natural fertiliser, he had to go to a specialist garden centre or a small holding or something, right? Mm. But then, if he wanted some organic vegetables, he had to go to a health food shop, right? 
So he hit upon the idea of combining the two entities. Oh. One centre where you can buy all your natural fertiliser and your health food. Oh. Well, he now owns four of these places, Phil. And next month, he's opening up a new one in Maidenhead. In Maidenhead? Yeah. Oh, no, yeah. Oh. In two and a half years, he has become a millionaire. Millionaire? At least. And? And what? Ooh. What's in it for us? Oh, yeah, well, me and Cassie go shopping there sometimes. Because she likes all that natural food. Oh, no, 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 I'm not talking about all that. I'm just saying, you know. Where do we come in? You <laughs> don't. <laughs> he was just telling you a story though to help you try to get back on your feet and to help you snap back into the damn wood is he who dares wins. What'd you tell me for then? Well, I just wanted to point out that even in these dark days of recession, some people are doing well. So it was just a nice little story then, was it? That's like the parable of the lucky git. <laughs> well, that's cheered me right up there, eh? I've got to go and tell Raquel this one. Yeah. Wait a minute, Ra Raquel. Raquel, you've got to come out here and listen to Rodney's story about some mush who's doing really, really well. Oh, yeah, he's, he's made a couple of million, apparently. Well, it's warm the cockles of my heart, sweetheart. <laughs> oh, well, I'm just going to punch Rodney on the nose and then I'm off out. <laughs> Shall I get my mouth shut now? <laughs> Where are you going today, darling? Uh -oh. I don't know, sweetheart. You know, mooch about bits, if I can make us a bit of poppy. I've got a much better idea. Yeah? Why don't you go down and sort out your allotment? <laughs> this arrived this morning from the council. Ah, they... Summons? summons? Mm. Apparently, people have been dumping rubbish on your allotment. It's now considered to be an environmental health hazard. They're giving you two weeks to clear it up, or you've got to appear in court. They even mention the possibility of a custodial sentence. Oh, well, there's a thing, isn't it, eh? <laughs> Are you going to tell me what the hell's happening, or have I got to starve uh, it out of you? Well, you've sort of spoiled the moment now, sweetheart. Because I was going to tell you tonight. Tell me what? I'll tell you tonight. Now! <laughs> I'll tell you tonight. <laughs> hey, dear boy, you're in trouble, my boy. I, I don't envy the spot that you in, my guy. I don't envy. It's about the flat. What about the flat? <clears throat> it's ours. I bought it. Oh, no, I'll go and get a bottle of champagne to celebrate. Not for me, Derek. I feel light-headed already. <laughs> <laughs> we bought our own home. It's ours. We could do what we like with it. Like what? At a conservatory or a nice patio? <laughs> a roof over our heads. And 14 other families. <laughs> I'm going to change the baby's nappy. <clears throat> I think she's really excited about it. <laughs> Well, who wouldn't be? <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, I'll, I'll go and calm her down a bit. Listen, you, that, you better not open that door. Dale boy. Oh, Don't go right, in there. <laughs> all right, Raquel, all right. Listen, I don't blame you for having the rats. I mean, the way things are, it's enough to give Harry Seagram the ump. But you know me. I'll bounce back again. Soon have some cash on the end. Is that what you think this is all about, Dale? Mummy. Well, what is it about? Haven't you noticed, Derek, that I haven't been out of this flat for months? Where yeah, have you go shopping oh. three times a week? I've not been shopping, I've been going out. And there's another thing, Del. Last year, I decorated our baby's room. Yes, I know. A blinding job you made of it, too, sweetheart. Thank you. You went out and got a piece of carpet. It didn't fit, but... Yeah, I know. I'm still on the lookout for that. And our baby had his own little room. Warm, cosy, safe. Then three months ago, you evicted Damien, moved him in with us, and filled his lovely little room with all your old junk. Junk? Junk? That is not junk, Raquel. That is my stock. Your stock, old junk, same thing. Look, Raquel, Ooh. you don't seem to understand. Don't you remember that someone broke into the garage and nicked off my junk stock? That's why I had to bring the last kit up here for its own protection. Oh, Del, hasn't it dawned on you yet? All you have in that room is what the thieves left behind. <laughs> I, 
ain't gonna lie. I ain't even think about that. <laughs> I didn't even think about it. All he got is the stuff that they didn't even want to steal. It was so worthless. They didn't even waste their time trying to take it. Oh, oh, damn. Damn. Yeah, you need to let Raquel out the house. She need a good night out. She need a night out. She need a, to be wine and dine, pampered, have a great time. Cause she going crazy. Hey, you driving her there, dear. You the one driving it to that point. How the hell do you hope to sell it when the burglars wouldn't take it for free? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. 150 Bross LPs. I know. Well, fashion changes so fast in the pop world, I was taken unawares. 275 free Nelson Mandela t shirts. <laughs> I know, look, I bought these on the Thursday evening, by Saturday morning he was out on parole. <laughs> How was I to know that, eh? <laughs> Charles and Di wedding plates. <laughs> Nothing that a good sorting out wouldn't cure. <laughs> a nine carat identity bracelet inscribed with name Gary. We got a box full of men's wigs that you bought before Damien was born. 50 pirated versions of the Poseidon Adventure, all on Betamax. This <laughs> of Romanian Riesling. <laughs> Dump it with the rest of the rubbish on your allotment. Just clear the room out and give it back to our baby. Yeah, but who's to say that I won't sell all this tomorrow? What are the chances of your bumping into a bald-headed, anti-apartheid, deep-sea diving Bross fan who has a Betamax video recorder, likes Romanian Riesling, and whose name is Gary? <laughs> oh, I'll clear it out first thing in a minute. <laughs> Cheer me up, Del, really. I'll be a happy woman again, promise. Yeah, you wait till you see our mortgage. <laughs> oh. Please let me prove to you that wealth won't spoil me. <laughs> Raquel said we had to help you clear this room out. Oh yes, that's right, brothers. Yeah, yeah, yes. We're gonna clear all this out. You know, get rid of it. Make a clean start. You're not getting rid of the wine, are you? You could flop that to Mike at the next eight. No, I can't, Rod. He's a very good friend. And he's tasted it. Yeah, and he's tasted it. <laughs> <laughs> and he's tasted it. <laughs> you buy that thing for? It was a surprise present for you, so you could go down and visit all the ships that you sailed in. <laughs> <laughs> no, I read in one of them Sunday supplements somewhere that diving was all to go with the uppies. Oh, they meant scuba. Huh? <laughs> oh, no. Seems to shame to throw it all away. Yeah, well, what else can I do with it if you can't put it in a garage? It ain't safe, is it? What about Grandad's shape? Hey, what shit? One on his allotment. Well, your allotment, then. Yeah? Jeez, old shed, you're right, Rodders. We could plug it all away there. Good thinking, Rodney. Right, tell you what we'll do. I'll go downstairs, open the van door. You two bring all this stuff down. Oh, my God. <laughs> Y'all better go go. I know I said don't tell Dill about it, and don't, but uh, y'all better talk to Cassandra about this small business investment and go get a load and, and get all this cleared out and figure it out. What do I reckon? The last time I saw a place like this was in that film, Gorillas in the Mist. <laughs> it's a jungle. Facts. Lord knows what lives in there. Facts. Yeah, <laughs> Will you stop doing that? You nearly gave me a connery. Oh, could have sworn I saw the blowpipe and the poison dart. Have you seen all that rubbish that's been dumped round here? Oh, oh my God. 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 Look at this lot. What are these drums doing? 
Oh, it's full. Eh? Oh, I don't know what's in them. There's one oatmeal. Some sort of yellow stuff. Oh, blimey, smell that. Oh, dear, what is that? I don't know. But it could be toxic. Yeah. Could be bloody poisonous and all. <laughs> You can't help what to lie down, boy. You cannot help it, bro. Come no, on, boy! Dave! Don't fancy coming to sweep this lot up for us, do you? I'm not a road sweeper anymore. No? Why are you now, then? A piano tuner? I'm an environmental hygienist. But what do they do when they're at home? Well, they sweep the roads. <laughs> but the council have upgraded me. Perhaps Trigger knows what this is. This is game, isn't it? Don't leave it out, Albert. Trigger couldn't find his way out of a telephone box. What's <laughs> it on his rounds? Have a look, Trick. Uh. It's some sort of yellow stuff. <laughs> you were bloody right, uh, Albert. He's got it spot on. Uh, How was it was uh, there? I tell you, you have got to get rid of this stuff and fast. This is the environmental health hazard that the council was talking about. Oh, well, and we'll, we'll pour it down a drain then. Oh, you my can't God. pour it down a public He's sewer, an it idiot, might be volatile. Bro. You could end up with. <laughs> you could create a disaster area. There's a 24 hour waste disposal depot down Stamford Road. Drop them off down there. Yeah, that's a good idea. Thanks, Trig. <laughs> there you are. Right, we can get these in the back of the van, can't we, Rodney? No. Well, how am I going to get rid of them, then? Of course. I knew it would be him. I knew it would be Denzel. Denzel. I knew it would be him. Denzel. I do. Let's get these drums in the back of your bed. Hey, hang on, not so fast. What are these things? It's nothing to worry about. It's just, you know, some gunge. Gunge? What sort of gunge? What do you mean, what sort of gunge? <laughs> gunge is gunge, isn't it? Hey, hang on, Trick. For all we know, this could be anything. I mean, it could be... It could be Concord fuel. No, it's not Concord fuel. It's antifreeze out of the Starship Enterprise. <laughs> fuel. It'll be battery acid out of Thunderbirds 3 next. <laughs> oh, God, look. Do you want this contract or not? Because I am a busy man, right? I've got things to do, haven't I? Right? But how can we be certain that this stuff isn't dangerous? Because it is not, and that is the truth. Oh, dear. There you are. You've heard it from the horse's mouth, now. You get that in. What do you mean I've heard it from the horse's mouth? That's Derek Trotter in there, not bloody Einstein. <laughs> and I don't see what a Beatles manager's got to do with it anyway. <laughs> when we was oh. at school, Del was the best in our class at chemistry. He used to sell homemade fireworks. He even blew up the science lab once. Yes, I remember. I was doing detention in there at the time. <laughs> what are you talking about? Right, that's it, Del. I am not touching them. I'm off. Then, Del, now believe me, it's harmless. And to prove it, I'm going to help you carry it. Look, I can't say fairer than that, can I? Look, they can't be dangerous, Denzel. How can you be sure? Because Del's just offered to help us carry them. <sighs> oh, my God. Yeah, all right, Trig, all right. <laughs> Stop it, bro. <laughs> Stop. Damn. Damn, boy. Okay. Oh, that, that, okay. Jubbly, jubbly. It's a bit late. You said it was open 24 hours a day. Yeah, but not at night. <laughs> 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 
So oh what do we do God. now? We've got 6,000 gallons of something in the back of my van. We could take it down the other council depot I used to work at. Is it open? No. <laughs> well, what's the point in taking it to your depot if that's not open either? Well, it soon will be open. I've got a spare set of keys here. Oh my God. Are you sure this is all right? Blue cares! Yeah, no problems. Come on, back up. You're all right behind, Denzel. I mean, is it legal? Yes! Back <laughs> up with you, Denzel. Don't mean it's bloody hot in here. <laughs> I can't see the fascination with this diving lot. <laughs> You get out here and listen to me tonight. Hmm? These are austere times, Denzel. If it hadn't been for my persuasion, you'd have lost the contract tonight. Yeah, I suppose you're right. No, suppose so about it. Right, that's 50 quid I owe you. <laughs> yes! I'm not going to ask you to do this as a favour for me, no matter how much you want to. Yeah, but no, I... No, 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 don't try and persuade me, Denzel, because you're just going to waste your breath. I'm going to see you for that money and no arguments. Oh, he'd do anything for anyone, this bloke, wouldn't he, eh? Yeah. Oh, my God. Of course he is. Gets you right here, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, my Down God. Down in my book, Denzel. Shan't forget tonight. <laughs> oh, my God, bro. <laughs> Thanks for everything. See you, Denzel. See you, Trick. No, I do. Okay. <laughs> what was in the bag? <laughs> I was telling you about Miles. What, the one that's done, you know, really well and has become a millionaire in two boxy years? Yeah. Well, this is one of his places. Oh, what are we doing here then? Oh, Cassie asked me to go and get a bit of shopping. Shopping? Yeah, for dinner tonight. Hey, listen, what's the point of getting married and then doing the bloody shopping yourself? Oh, no wonder you've got problems. Oi, you keep your mo's out of my business, all right? All right, all right, all right. Hmm. Oh, Lime, you've done half pen and ink in here, don't it? Shh. That's the fertiliser and the manure. And the other things. Every single item in this shop has been grown the way nature intended. Oh, yeah. Well, that must be very nice for you and Cassandra to sit down to dinner knowing that everything on your plate was once under a pile of horse shit. <laughs> For the rest of the shopping and then we'll be off. Oh, well, hurry up, will you? No. You've seen the price of these spuds? Yeah. Uh, well, you pay the extra because they're organic. I tell you, there's no E120 additives in these foods. E120s. What are you talking about? E120s. Before you met Cassandra, you thought an E120 was a bus. <coughs> Look, sprout tops. 28 pence a pound. Mm. Oh, look at that price of these carrots. I tell you... What's this? One minute, this is water, this, isn't it? Water at 65 pence a bottle. Who you your own business? Cassandra and I happen to like this water. Oh, well, well. Maybe she liked this water even more. Look, this one's only 72 pence a bottle. <laughs> Is this what people are spending their money on nowadays? Yeah. It's one of the few remaining growth industries. Is it? Is it really? Rodney. Miles. How you doing? Pretty good. Yourself? Oh, yeah. Fine. All right. Oh, Miles, this is my brother Derek. Del, this is Miles. Ah, oh, pleased to meet you, son. Yes, and you. So, what do you think? In one word, impressed. Yes, in one word, bloody expensive. Expensive? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, look at the price of your spuds and your carrots, not to mention your Brussels sprout tops, 28 pence a pound. Water, 
72 pence a bottle? That water happens to come from the most natural sources in Britain. And Switzerland, and France, and Italy, I might add. I'm a founder member of the Swans Committee. Huh? Oh, Swans? What, well, them big white duck things? <laughs> <laughs> there was an acronym. Oh, that's what I thought. I was just about to say, that's an anacronym. What should I put money on it? And you'd have been right. Yeah, that's right, yeah. What'd you feed them on? <laughs> oh, my God. Your anacronyms. <laughs> It's not a duck or a ghost or nothing. An acronym is a name made out of the initials of another set of words. Oh, yeah, oh, that an acronym. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, I've got to rush, Rodney. It's been, um... Well, it's been real. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Big bloody ducks. <laughs> oh, my God. Do what? Swans are the initials of the Spa Water and Natural Spring Committee, and Miles is a vice president. He's in charge of dishing out all the certificates of purity. Without his signature, none of these companies can sell their goods. Can't help but admire him. I tell you, that bloke is going places. Well, with a name like Miles, he's bound to. <laughs> Cabbage. Oh, that's all we got for this part one. Uh, make sure y'all subscribe to the channel, read notification bell, give the video a thumbs up so it gets suggested. It's your boy DDM, out.